hello, hello, internet, and welcome back to... I'm, I'm, I don't know, the, never going back into this dungeon ever again. I am so happy to be out of it. And, I mean, the real adventure is going to be finally taking this mithril back to the rebels and progressing with the story. How crazy is that going to be? We actually get to progress with the story after all this time and, like... Seven episodes. Stuck in a dungeon. Oh boy, it's gonna be very exciting. Also, now that we are maybe a minute or so into this episode, you might notice that there is a change in quality with the mic. And as we're venturing back, I would like to sort of go into some slight stupidity on my part as to why the mic suddenly sounds a lot better. Um... So this is the same mic I've had for years, and it's a pretty nice one. I actually have to plug it into an amplifier, and in all honesty, I probably need a better amplifier. I just got a really cheap one, but, you know, it's like one of those mics that you put, like, the pop filter in front of and stuff. Like, it's a good, it's a good mic, it's a good mic. Um, I, for all of Final Fantasy 1, and up into this episode, had the mic pointed the top of the mic is where i was talking into and after i i was literally just watching a video of like a podcast and i realized wait why is their mic standing vertically and not pointed at oh no so i did a little test and um yeah this mic sounds a lot better when you're actually pointing it in the correct way so the little logo of the mic is supposed to face you when you talk into it, and I never realized that, and I've had terrible mic quality for the entirety of this channel. So yeah, that's been fun, <laughs> but luckily, I'm aware, and I've fixed the problem, so we'll have better audio from now on. Another indicator was when I was listening to the previous episode, there was a part where I fall on the ground in absolute disbelief and, and pain and horror over the fact that I have to fight slimes again. And I noticed that for a second there, when I was falling out of my chair, the mic sounded slightly of higher quality? I was like, huh, that's odd. Normally it'd be the other way around. And then I saw the, uh, I don't even remember what it was. I think it was, hmm, I can't remember. I don't watch many podcasts, but I can't remember what podcast it was. I mean, to go down a list of, like, the podcasts I actually see video of, uh, it was either Trash Taste Podcast, which is anime stuff, or it was Castle Super Beast. One of the two, I took notice of their mic when they moved it, and then I realized my horrible mistake. Also, I have totally forgotten the correct- Oh my god, I'm like super lost. Oh no. I- I don't know where I'm supposed to go right now, actually. Let me just run away from these really quick and then open the world map. If I re can remember how to open the world map, I, you hold B and then you press select or something. Oh, come on, can we not run from goblins? Look, even the goblins don't want to fight us. Let's just leave. Let's just call a truce, bro. Let's just call a truce. Let's just... You know, it was an oopsie doodle. I should not be in this corner of the forest to begin with. Let's just call it here, you know? Yeah, thank you, sir. So if I hold select B... No, no, no. I hold B, then select. There we go. Oh man, I went the complete wrong way. I need to go all the way to the right. That's where Salmon Land is. To the right and up. Oof. Yeah, I got carried away talking about my story, and I'm excited to see how this episode sounds. Because audio is something that I have heavily struggled with in this uh, YouTube channel for such a long time. Like, I... Oh man, I hate listening to the early episodes. The early episodes had terrible, terrible audio mixing, 
and there was nothing I could really do about it. I mean, I did a bad job, but on top of just doing a bad job, I, I like, I recorded myself through the recording software recording the game audio, so I couldn't tweak the difference between my voice and the game audio. And it took me, I think, like, it took me, like, six episodes or so before I started recording voice and game audio separately. And it made it so much easier. But even then, like, there's just times where you come across an episode in the first Final Fantasy playthrough, and it's just horrible audio mixing. And I really wish YouTube had an option for me to go through and just fix the audio on the videos. Like, I don't want to re-upload because I'll mess up. Why is this one dude by himself? We're going to punch him. Um, I don't want to go through and, like, delete a video and then re-upload it and stuff because that's going to be very messy and I don't... It's going to look bad on the channel, but, like, man, I wish I could just go and put new audio over the top of the video. Not, like, recording, but, like, fix it with professional software and then upload it and oh my god we finally made it back to the town it feels like forever because it has been forever hurry take the mithril to altair and give it to the princess oh man it feels good to carry this uh, mithril around i almost call it minerals our husbands are back home safe thank you thank you so much for saving us i am going to stay at the inn before i talk to anyone else Oh, man, we did it. That was, like, one of the hardest gaming moments, trying to get through that dungeon. Oh, man, that was crazy. I am so glad to be back in this town. Oh. Our husbands are back home safe. Thank you. What about you? I love Joseph, but I know that when I'm around, I just get in his way. Uh, airship. Mithril. Wild Rose, learn items. I don't want to give you any of those. Wait, shouldn't somebody have the... Oh, we have a Mithril Bow. That's right, that's right, that's right. I was like, shouldn't shouldn't the Longbow be in Maria's hands? Uh, let's go talk to this dude first. You saved my daughter. Thank you. That cowardly Bogen had been threatening Nelly to get to me. If there's anything I could do to help, just ask. How about Mithril? The cave behind Simit Falls used to be an old Mithril mine. Deep deepest parts of the cave still have Mithril deposits. I have Mithril with me. I teleported a knight out of the dungeon to get it. Airship? Sid is leading expert on airships. I have already talked to Sid. Wild Rose. Okay, he doesn't know what Wild Rose is. Can't learn anything. Uh, actually, before I give you the Mithril, let me go talk to Nelly. Thanks for saving me, airship. Mithril. Wild Rose. Learn? Okay. Now we will give him the Mithril and progress the story! Uh, items. Mithril. You better get that Mithril back to Altair. Oh, we have to go back to the original town. Oh. Oh boy, I hope an airship's in this town then, because I do not want to walk back. That would be a very long journey I am not inherently excited to go on. Just because it would be a slog, and navigating through this world is quite hard. First, though, uh, I have teleport, warp, sap, life. Oh, what did life do? Did life resurrect people? It doesn't matter. I don't have enough money for it anyways. Okay, so my current objectives right now is I need to see if there's anything good I need to purchase in this town before I never come back here ever again. My dog is coughing in the background. And I need to find Sid, because I do not want to walk. Oh. Yeah, I forgot about this thing. Can we use this? Nope. Hopefully that's not like a... 
So you know how like in some older games, and this mostly was like in Game Boy Color, GBA things, where there would be like timed events where it's like, oh yeah, bring your game to a kiosk and then plug it in and then you'll get special items and DLC and then never ever be able to get it again. Uh, I don't think we really need any of that. We need armor is what we definitely need, but like I think we, the armor we need is gloves and hats and general pretty attire. What do you have for me? Okay, so he has full set of bronze armor. Let me just double check who I can actually deck out in uh, bronze armor. So Furion could use just about everything in bronze. Um, hmm. Just about everything. What about Guy? He's got bronze helmet. He's got bronze armor. He needs gloves. And maybe a better weapon. So let's just deck out Guy here for a second. So... What is this thing? What is this? Is this like shoes? I have bronze gloves already? Or... Wait, no, those were... Oh, okay, I guess the image just got messed up when it was in the shop. But hey, bud, here you go. Take some bronze gloves. Boom, look at that defense. Actually, how much did that go up? Oh, wow, that goes up a good amount. Uh, I think he's good. And how much gold do we have? I'll get some bronze gloves for Furion, too. Yeah, that sprite is totally messed up in the shop. So, equipment, Furion, get rid of your leather gloves for bronze, and then does Maria have gloves? She could probably wear leather. Uh, actually, 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 Furion has a leather helmet, so let's buy Furion a leather helmet and... No, no, no. Buy him a bronze helmet, and then give him the bronze helmet, and give Maria the leather helmet and Minwoo never gets hit so I don't really have to worry about him too much I do wish he could dual wield and actually swing an axe or something oh he's got bronze armor anyways and an ether so he's pretty good maybe I should try buying him a knife well, I don't think there was a knife in this store, but like maybe 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 that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Oh man, I need to buy potions more than anything. Uh Battle Axe. What did Guy have on him? Guy had a normal axe. Okay, we're getting Guy a battle axe. One hundred percent. This dude deserves We don't have enough money. Hmm. Hmm. We don't have enough money for a battle axe. What if I sold his axe? I bet I have enough if I sold his axe. If I sell the axe and the longbow, which is a pity because then I can't give the longbow to Furion, but I really don't want to take the time and try to train him into using a longbow. I just don't think it's worth it, so we're just gonna sell it. And then we're gonna buy a battle axe and we're gonna do so much damage. Okay. Equipment, guy. I'm getting good at this menu navigation now. Boom, battle axe. And he's got bronze armor and a bronze shield. Guy is ready to rock and roll. He is decked out. Man. Easily strongest one on the party. And he has he has MP for some reason. That's funny, I should teach him a spell just for funsies. Uh, maybe late game. Like, maybe when we have, like, infinite money or something. For now, we have to go and buy some potions! Hello, sir. I... Dang, I can only get a few. Okay, well, we're just gonna take as many as we possibly can. Okay. And now we have to find a way back to Atalavuni, wherever the place was. Hurry, take the map to Altier. Altier is the place. And give it to the princess. I don't... Mm, 
Okay, sure. I mean, I don't know why I have to take, like, a war asset specifically to the princess. I mean, that's kind of like saying, like, I found swords for the soldiers. Oh, don't give it to the soldiers. Take it straight to the king. And then the king will give it to the soldiers. Also, I don't think Sid's in this town. I think we're gonna have to walk to the next town. There's no other buildings. Oh no. We're gonna have to actually adventure. Oh no. I was hoping that we could just fly there. Okay. Well, for starters, let's save the game because we did do a lot of shopping. Uh, wait. Why is our MP not restored? Oh, oh, it was showing me the previous save. Okay, I was very confused for a second because we did stay in an inn and I paid a lot of money for that inn. So, where the heck is Altier? There's nothing to the left, so I'm guessing we're going to go to the right and then down and then... Yeah, yeah, because you could see a little blue pixel right below that small town. Uh, and then, like... That was where we took the airship, because we flew up. So, that's not too far. That's not too bad. Still. I mean, would it have hurt Sid to just be sitting in this town, ready to take our money for another airship ride? Like, dude, it's very clear that we're going to be flying all over the place. And, you know, we... Well, actually, I was about to say, we are the four warriors of light, but then I realized we... This game is not like that. We are just four random rebels. Huh. It's weird. It's a This game is weird coming off of the first Final Fantasy. And honestly, this game just makes me want to play... Oh, cool, we got two potions. This game just really wants me... Well, let me try that sentence again. If it isn't apparent, I haven't gotten much sleep. <laughs> But this game, like, just makes me want to play the first Final Fantasy again. Like, more so than anything. It just makes me long for, for playing the first Final Fantasy. Wait, the town was that close? The whole time? We literally paid, like, 300 gil to, like, fly. Why did we do that? Why didn't we just walk? Wow, what a ripoff. Well, I'm glad I have money now. Okay, let's see. So they're over in the bar. This is the port of Poffet. Salmonland is to the north, and to the east is Bafesk, where bad things are happening. Hey, it's the pub! Can we get a drink yet, though? Before I talk to Sid, can we get a drink? Can we get a drink? Uh, nope. I am not going to talk to everyone here and read the same dialogue again. That was annoying. Sid's airship can take you anywhere, but it'll cost you interest, dude. Oh no, I only have 22 gil! Oh no! Oh no! Wait, you don't even have the place I need to go to. You can take me to Bass Fest, which is nice, but like, you don't actually have... Oh, did I never talk to Sid? You're here to ride the airship. If you got cash, there's no place I can't take you. Well, apparently you can't take me to the one place I need to go. Uh, airship? If you want the airship, you play the guy behind me. Mithril? Wild Rose. I already learned airship. Uh, do you take Antidote as payment? Hmm. Well, how do I get to Altir from here, then? Is the question. Let me take a look at this map and try to decipher which way is to go. Unless this boat will just randomly take me? No? Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Because... Where was Altir? It's been so long. Is it to the right? Is that Altir? Because Bafesk is to the left, right? Bafesk was, they kept saying, was to the west. So, 
Gosh, this map is so slow. Maybe I have to keep venturing to the right to get to Altier, but like, it could also be the ship. So I'm just gonna take a quick little peeksie around the rest of this town just before I run off on a convoluted adventure that I might not actually need. Also, do they have different armor? I'm guessing you sell leather. Oh no, you sell bronze too. Hmm. Maybe the shops just like upgrade every time I hit a certain milestone in the game. So I don't have to actually go hopping around from town to town to try and find the good stuff. Wait, that would be bad, because I need a knife for... Yeah, a dagger! Oh, it's so expensive. Gosh dang it. I'll come back later. I really do want to get a dagger for Minwoo. Just in case he runs out of MP. Well, in that case, what spells you got? Cure, Blink, Protect, and Shell. Well, Cure is... Um, oh, Cure's only 200? Ooh. Hmm. Kind of want that for uh, Furion. I'll have to remember this place once we have some money to spare. I'm definitely coming back here. Hey, what's up? Have you seen the airship? It was built by Sid, who lives here in Parfait. Only he can fly it. Mm, I don't know. I feel like if I, uh, if I got my hands on that, I don't think I'd do too bad. I'm not, I'm not saying, like, I'm perfect, but I, uh, I might... Might have flown an airship or two in my day. Well, with no one for the boat, I guess that just leaves that we have to venture off into the next town. So let's go on a little mini quest. I hope ends well. I could also just go and look at old videos and try to figure out where I came from, but like, you know, I I don't I feel like I don't need to do that. I feel like I can just I could just head right there as long as I don't get too many of these nasty encounters. Which is silly because like we're trying to run away, but these guys are like don't run away, but then simultaneously they're like also we're going to run away. I don't I don't get you, you guys. You make no sense. I'm going to punch him in the face now. So we take the mithril back to the princess. She says, good job. She lets us join as rebels, and then we will probably get some, like, rebel missions. We'll probably, like... Dude, that would be pretty cool. I'm, I'm down for that. I mean, like, me and this game had some differences regarding the slimes. But, you know, if we start to... If we get to go on, like, covert rebel missions to fight the evil empire, that sounds fun. I'm down for that. That sounds like a good time. Oh man, I just realized I probably should have taught. I should have taught Minwoo the fire. Why did I not teach Minwoo the fire spell? He would be so powerful if I just gave him the fire spell. I mean, like, Maria. Oh, nice, more potions. I mean, like, Maria needs it and she'll eventually get powerful because she'll use it, and without the fire spell, she probably wouldn't get stronger faster but like man if i find another fire scroll whoa how how do we get i want it i shall make it mine how do i achieve that vehicle okay one thing this game definitely does a good job of is teasing you with stuff to come Oh man, oh well, yeah. okay, here's my prediction, here's my prediction. There's gonna be a mission, right? There's gonna be a mission where we're gonna have to go and steal an airship from the evil army. How cool is that gonna be? We're gonna go and like, oh man, okay. Remember how last episode I got horribly frustrated with this game and I was like, this is the worst game ever, I hate it. Well. Now I'm starting to geek out, because I'm like, what if we go and we team up with Sid, and, like, we go and have, like, an airship battle, and, like, we take over the airship. We steal it from the Empire. How cool would that be? Oh, jeez, this guy was waiting for us at the door. Well, sorry for him, but we spent five hours fighting slimes, so... Uh, yeah, good luck trying to hit us, bro. We are very good at punching things now. Our HP is not the best, but we are very good at punching things. Yeah, like Maria just killed him with a single arrow. 
I don't think we're gonna have problems with encounters for a little bit. So, and if I remember right, these are all guards that are all nasty people. And hopefully there's somehow... I'm gonna hold on to my money, actually. I shouldn't... I have enough potions. I can't remember exactly, but there should be someone here who can take us to... to the next place, right? There was, like, a secret thing secretly that I could secretly do to find a secret passage. Oops. Hey, what's your problem? Fools, if the Dark Knight sees me talking to you, I could get killed. Oh yeah, you're like on the inside. Airship. Mithril. Wild Rose. Uh, learn? Can you move at least? Because I feel like I need to get secrets behind there. Hmm. What's your story? Dot, dot, dot. Uh, do, 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 Is there no other places? Dot, dot, dot. These are just, it's just a town filled with bad guys. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to venture down more. I'm, I'm gonna walk the whole way back, aren't I? Don't just stand there. Airship. Mithril. Wild Rose. Okay. We'll probably come back and save this town at some point in the future. Hopefully. So, if it's not that town, then it must be... Do, 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 do. It must be somewhere down here on the map that is so slow oh my god this is the worst map okay it must be that t that town in the center then just you know i got a little preemptive like like kind of like you know just like ooh, this is it and i jumped on it too fast it was like no we we still have a little ways to go we still gotta fight this bird get some gold and potions and this episode's starting to run a bit long but we're gonna go until we get to the town and then i'll save hey the splinter died are those called splinters i thought they were just like like shoehorn bill dogs dog dogs gosh i'm tired i i have had a red bull today i have had a coffee puppy why are you coughing and I am still tired. Oh, man. Just like... Are my episodes getting messier? I feel like... I feel like there's like a level of professionalism I want to achieve with this channel. And sometimes I'm, I'm, on, I'm on that level or I'm close to that level. But the past few episodes I feel like I've just been like really sloppy. Just like... Just like... You know, if the first few episodes were like, like a well-constructed burger where everything is like neat on it, you bite into it and like everything stays together and you're like, ooh, this is delicious. The last two episodes have just been like sloppy joes, just like chili sauce everywhere. And no matter how you eat it, it's just going to be a mess. Not to say that it's bad, it's just, it's just a mess. It's a different flavor, different aesthetic. Oh, man. Can we stop fighting goblins, please? It would be nice if the encounter rate went down, actually. Because... Oof. At least, at least make the encounter rate go down, or make it easier for us to run away. Because this... Const every five steps getting an encounter is just the most annoying thing. Okay, so if I remember the map right, I can go over here and then I can cut across straight to the town. And if this isn't the right town, then I will just cry and go watch old footage to figure out where exactly we are supposed to be. Oh man, these aren't even, like, these enemies are not even really worth the effort, are they? Oh jeez, I got poisoned. That's annoying. Does poison hurt me outside of combat? I have 71 HP right now. 
Oh, I have an antidote. I'll, I have so many antidote. I'll just take it. I'll just take the antidote. Let's just take the antidote and not worry about it. Yay, look at me. I'm playing the game. Oh, oh, I heal. Po okay. Antidotes are pointless because you heal poison as soon as you leave combat. I should sell those. Also, I think Minwoo has a spell that just cures poison, so the whole poison situation is kind of just pointless. Oh my god, so many of these. Okay. I'm just gonna make guy attack and then everyone else can try to run. Maybe that's the efficient way to do this. Oh man, this episode's running long, but we're so close to the town. I just want to play Final Fantasies. That's so hard. I, I just, like... I'm excited to get to the next story part of the game. I'm not so excited to fight random level one monsters for t like half an hour as I try to get to the next town. This is all Sid's fault. He should have just flown me back to like, like why can't he fly there? It's like the rebel hometown. Like he's a good guy, right? He should be all for taking us to Altier. Oh man, I hope we don't have to return Minwu though. That's a scary thought. Because we still are missing our companion. So I assume we have to return Minwu at some point. I'm just hoping that I can take his equipment off before we return him. Because that elixir is a very expensive item in the store, so... I mean... Gosh, I was almost, I was so desperate in that previous dungeon that if I knew he had an elixir on him, because I forgot, if I knew he had an elixir, I might have used it. I might have just used it. Okay, let's get out of that. So right in the middle here should be the town. Oh, stop! Oh! Deadhead? Deadhead? What is a deadhead? What does a deadhead do? Oh, they're, they're pretty strong. This is, this is not a great sign. Hmm. I'm starting to think that this might not actually be Altier and this might be a completely different thing. Oh gosh, Virion is getting punched a lot. I'm actually gonna have to use a spell to heal Virion. Oh no, it didn't die in one hit? Okay, the zombie's not a problem. But the deadhead didn't die in one hit, that's a problem. Oh, wow! It took four- okay, these guys are actually pretty strong. Uh, let's have Furion attack that one. You can... Actually, let's have you cast magic on you, and then you can attack that one, and you can do nothing. I- I need to level up Maria's- Maria's MP, so I figured... Let's take the opportunity to heal Furion. He could do with taking a couple blows to get that HP up in defense as well. Okay, so the deadheads have like 100 HP. That's not too bad at us. Man, could you imagine fighting these things before we went through? Like, if we didn't grind so much on those slimes, these these guys would be impossible to defeat. Okay, this should be it. This should kill them all. Gosh, Furion's so weak. Gosh, Guy is so strong. <laughs> I hope that our missing companion, when he eventually joins our team, is, like, good. And then... Can I just switch Furion and keep Minwu? When we have to, like, return Minwu, can I just return Furion instead and keep Minwu? Because he's great. He's got a lot of healing. Oh, that is not a town. That was a castle. And there's balloons. Oh, they got a bow. See, now these are the fights I'm talking about. These are riveting fights. Pixels on pixel, violent action. Let's go. Uh, punch that guy. And then I'm actually going to use fire on that guy. And then we'll punch that balloon. And then we will use cure on you. Ooh, 13... That's, that's not too bad. It would be bad if it hits Virion. 
HP up. Oh, nice. See, Minwoo is so good. He maxes out HP when he heals. He's just so good. He's, like, too good. They're going to take him away from me at some point. Like, I, I am going to make sure I save before I talk to the queen because they are 100% going to take Minwoo away from me. Or at least keep him around until I find my missing companion, who I assume is going to be a thief or ninja. Uh, just based on, like, the typical party setup. Okay. I'm not sure if we've ever been here before. So we're going to save the game. And I'm going to double save the game to be safe. And join me for the next episode where we actually walk into this weird spooky castle that's in the middle of nowhere. That is probably not the right location for me to be at. So, until then, bye.